Base Defense is a unique game I created that is basically where you have to protect your smaller tiers, like this one here, from being smashed in the face by attackers. There are three rules of this game. First, you have the capper that caps the base, or you could just be an attacker that destroys the cappers, or you could be simply a guard that has to protect them. However, playing this game can be a little difficult. The first thing you want to do is make sure your cappers or your lower tiers get to the base, and then you, you have to pick two guards to stay with them. Now, why two guards though? First, it, it, there's multiple rounds of this game, and two guards just make sure that the base doesn't get overflown with protection so the rammers can't even kill the cappers in the first place, but you want to make sure it's balanced. That's why you can only have two attackers at a time. However, you could have three attackers though. And then what's the main goal of attackers? They have to ram the cappers in order to win. Now the two guards, as shown here, the M103 and the IS3 are supposed to protect me before round one starts. Now as I announced that round one starts, the attackers can then move in and have to ram me, but there's only a certain amount of time. There are three rounds to this game. Each are about 45 seconds to a minute long. After the round starts, it's pretty much defend and attack. However, the attackers do need to think of strategies before they just go in there because the games may eventually wind up like this, where you don't even get to take off a single health off the capper. Playing as the capper is always fun, but it's not always the best. After each round is over, all the cappers and attackers must leave the base, and two new guards and attackers are chosen. Now remember, three attackers can be chosen too, but only two attackers can enter the base at a time, along with two guards. The heavy tank and the TD have their own special abilities. The TD, giving it its turretless most of the time, doesn't have the option to ram, but if the capper is hit, he can use HG on the tracks. The heavy tank, on the other hand, can shoot the attacker, but it can't be all the time. He can only shoot him one time. And that's only if he hit the capper. Playing as a guard is a little hard because you do have to defend against those attackers that want to ram them. But in this case, it is a little bit easier because I am a big tank and the cappers can hide behind me. If you use long tanks, for example the TOG 2, the cappers can hide behind you. This can be great for your advantage. Being an attacker, defender, or even a capper, this game can become successful. What role do you favor? Let me know down in the comments below what role you think is best. Even though each role has its pros and cons, you can be able to use each of them effectively. Being a capper, getting to be able to run away from tanks, hide behind your guards. Being an attacker, you get to ram, or you get to think out strategies about how to win the game or simply just being a guard, helping protect your mates. Thank you for watching this basic tutorial on how to play Base Defense, which is a game I play and streams a lot. If you do want to check out more content like this, why not click that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!